Hey everyone, it's Oli Lindley here from One Number. We're Tableau Education and Consulting Experts, and today we're going to take a look at unions in Tableau. Now, a union is a way of connecting two tables vertically, but what exactly does that mean? So let's say we're sitting with our current table, and we want to connect two tables to our current one. Now, one table might contain a lot of columns that we want to add into our current data source that we don't have at the moment. So we might envision Tableau doing that like this, you know, kind of connecting those tables horizontally. So there are a whole bunch of columns that we've added into our data source that we didn't have at the beginning that give us more context, more information, um, and that's super useful. This way of connecting two tables together is called a join. Uh, but we might also want to add our tables this way, so one on top of the other, connecting them vertically. And this focus is not necessarily on adding new columns, it's more on adding in more rows. So when we want to add in rows of data, uh, we can almost imagine Tableau just popping one table on top of the other so that we can just scroll all the way down. That's called a union. Now, of course, you can union tables together that don't have exactly the same columns. That's fine. Uh, but the focus is on adding in rows as opposed to adding in brand new columns. So we're going to take a look at unions today. But what exactly are we going to be unioning? Well, we're looking at three years worth of customer orders, and it's super simple. We just have an order ID, customer ID, product ID, sales and profit. And so what we're going to do is just um, connect vertically our current table, which is 2021, with this new one, which is 2022 customer orders. So let's take a look at the columns and see how they kind of match up. So there's customer ID, order ID, product ID and then sales and profit like that. So they're kind of jumbled, but that's okay. Tableau can sift through that. Uh, but all we need to do now is create that union so that Tableau can put one table on top of the other. So let's close that up. I'm gonna drag in the 2022 customer orders and just drop it right on top of 2021 customer orders. And once that's done, you can see a couple of things. Firstly, this icon has changed up here. It kind of looks like a Star Wars <laughs> fighter ship, but it's actually a representation of unioned tables, one table on top of another, like this, kind of all the way down. And, and that's what we've built at the moment. You can also see that we've got these two new columns, sheet and table name. They just help us orientate ourselves a little bit. So they give us some context as to the exact sheet and table that each row uh, came from. We can also see as we scroll down the exact point where our union happened, right? So we can see there 2021 to 2022 is where the one table stops and the other starts. So you can see how we're just scrolling all the way down those two tables, which is fantastic. We're going to take a look at an example where the columns don't match up perfectly. How do we fix that and what are we supposed to do? But before we do, let me just say we've got a bunch of amazing classes coming up over the next few weeks and months. Everything from uh, a Tableau beginners course to mastering some advanced calculations. Um, we're super excited about them. We've put in a lot of work and we think that they're awesome and we'd love to see you there. So in our next example, this one, let me open up 2023 we can see a couple of mismatches already. So the mismatches are not customer ID, order ID, or product ID. That's fine. The mismatch is proof it should be profit. So someone has misspelled this, someone. And revenue should be sales. And that's fine. But this kind of thing happens quite often out in the wild. And so you might encounter something like it. What are we supposed to do? Well, let's repeat the process, right? Drag it on top, drop it into the union box. And we've gone from 57 to 92 rows or something. And let's see what, what exactly Tableau has done. So revenue and proof that we've just got a bunch of null values all the way down. And the reason why we've got nulls is because these are from the 2021 customer orders, right? This, this information here. So, in order to union these tables, Tableau's gone, I've got two new columns, I have to include them somehow, but I actually don't have any information for revenue or for proof it in 2021. 
so you're just going to get nulls. And that's fine, but as we scroll down, you'll see that they switch once we hit 2023 customer orders. So here the inverse is happening. Tableau is going, I've got info for revenue and profit, but nothing for sales and profit, so you're getting nulls. Okay, that's fine. What we're going to do to fix this is something called merging the mismatched fields. So merging mismatched fields is really helpful when you've got two columns that should be the same column, but Tableau hasn't identified that they should be the same column. So all you're going to do is select those. I held down Command. I'm on a Mac. Control if you're on a Windows. Select those two columns. Hit the drop down and select Merge Mismatched Fields. Now Tableau just combines the names. So we're just going to rename that Sales. And we're going to do the same for Proof It and Profit. But let me just show you. Now, when we get down to the 2023 customer orders sheet, you can see that we have a value for Proof It, but nothing for Profit because those haven't been merged. But sales and revenue have been merged. So now we're fine all the way down, right? We've got consistent sales numbers all the way down. That's great. So let's do the same. Profit and Proof It. Merge the mismatched fields. And let's say Profit. Fantastic. And so now... Our union looks super neat. We've pulled this all together and we've connected our tables one on top of the other. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you want to check out the workbook below in the description, uh, you're welcome to do that. Uh, but until next time, keep well. Thanks for joining us.